So, go ahead. Thanks. Okay, just to follow what Owen was saying there, I, I would tend to go with this view on parliamentarism at the national level. Uh, but given the initial point that was made to us that at local level, when people are voting, the focus on local issues is so weak that you may just need to counterbalance that at a local level by going for more of the presidential system if you want to get that higher visibility. Just put that point. That's a reasonable point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your talk was long, but your answer was short. <laughs> Can, uh, another question then? Short statement from Singalia. Um, and there you are, that's the reaction. Uh, Fingal Fing engaged massively with colloquium, and for everything that the Dermot knows, a few of us here were on, and a particular point of view came out in it. In particular, the ratepayers and the, the people who funded Fingal um, didn't want any more burden added onto their, their rates charge. That was a huge issue out there, and it was part of our engagement. But aside from that, there's two points I want to make. Uh, yeah, I talked about directly like the mayor and someone who. So if Jim Gavin just put his name forward now as director, uh, as mayor of Dublin, he's a shoe in for the next 10 years, regardless of whether we will be next Sunday or not, because he's seen as a really good manager uh, and, and a leader of people and all that kind of carry on. So you have to bear that in mind. Councillors and politicians do have to learn their trade somewhere, and the councils are great places to cut your teeth and learn how to deal and get business done and compromise with it. And finally, um, my big worry on the directly elected mayor in, in, is that the media, as they do, will take a liking to one particular person or individual work, as they do. And the classic case of this was last night on the 9th of news when we had a report on the US presidential election. And there was not one mention of Donald Trump. Or whether you like him or not, there was no balance in the media. And that was a big dread that we had as part of our discussions. The media wants something, therefore, everything else goes out of the media. Do any of the speakers want to respond? That might be sort of a nice actually segue to the next section, which is where the councillors will have a round table. May we have time for one more question for the speakers. Okay, at that then I'll thank you. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Yeah. Well, one was in the presentations that said it was a touch tone for businesses directly at the market. I would actually see it very differently, it would be touched on for, for the citizens. Because like at the moment the things have developed there's a very strong articulate body now in the rural alliance. But there isn't a strong articulate uh, voice for urban areas. So we need to develop that argument in relation for urban areas as the majority of people in the future to live to live in that. And it was on the democratic kind of uh, balance is the council chamber itself should create the democratic balance to a directly elected mayor. So that, that's, that's the balance, that's where you build the coalitions, that's where you build the, the collaboration to move forward. Like democracy is messy, but it's the best system we have. So what we have to try and do is, is improve it, certainly for the sake of, of, of Dublin City, I would argue. And I like the GAA and I have an analysis of, that, of the GAA in Dublin City. You know, that, that would be my vision of what, what kind of Dublin is at the moment and what we should try to create a dynamic city for. Do Colin or Orla briefly want to respond to that? I suppose just in relation to the um, yeah, analogy with business, it was to say that, yes, the, two, the examples that I flagged up were Western Development for Early Community Initiatives where they were in the task forces and in the subcommittees and very much driven by equally with business. But what I'm saying is that the mayor becomes a strategic touch focal point for big business to actually see that there's one person in command here, which the structures then of the, the task forces where the community is equally there with business and with the political element, that they then drive it forward. But at least business see one person to solve this issue or drive this big funding forward in public-private partnerships. And that's what those examples actually are flagging up internationally in Toronto, London, and in um, New York. Okay, so thanks to the speakers. I think, I think they're feeding in quite nicely to the next session, which is uh, developing an urge to begin. And I see the next chair there so if you'd like to come and take over mr carey thank you very much. let's give a round of applause collective round of applause